Well, we begin with a scary situation at a camp in Wildwood. Parents rushing to pick up their kids after finding out some children at the camp needed medical care. The Power of Two's Laura Simon has the latest on what exactly happened at Camp Wyman. Things are back to normal today here at Camp Wyman, but there was quite a bit of commotion last night here at this camp in Wildwood. As we are told by the camp CEO that a teenage girl had a pre existing medical condition and had some sort of medical emergency during dinner last night. They do have a nurse here on staff who was able to attend to her right away, but they did end up calling in some additional resources to help. A lot of kids had never witnessed anything like this before, and during the excitement, over the whole ordeal, a teenage boy tripped and fell. Both teens were taken to the hospital and are doing better today. Several other kids started hyperventilating and panicking last night, and camp staff did call in those extra resources to help. So that's why there were ambulances, fire trucks, and police cars out here last night. This happened during the dinner hour around 7 p.m. The camp CEO says this is a three week camp, all part of a nine year leadership program, and there were about 80 teams here at the time at the camp and there are a total of 320 kids in the program. Some parents did end up picking up their teens last night as they were stressed out in the heat of the moment. A lot of anxiety going on at the time as you can imagine, but the camp CEO Claire Winnikin tells us everything is okay now and some kids who left plan on coming back. You've probably heard of this kind of thing before when people witness something that's scary. Sometimes they feel it too and young people are very feeling people. And so I think it just sort of created this sort of a vicarious concern. And so we had some young people who just got very, very anxious. And so that's, it's not uncommon, it does happen. Um, one of the doctors told us last night that that was his suspicion too. It was just sort of this vicarious um, concern. We are told the two teens who need medical attention will be okay and anyone who left last night is welcome to come back. This camp does go until Sunday. Reporting in Wildwood, I'm Laura Simon.